Like many women, Julia Indichova was too busy to think about taking care of herself. And unfortunately, it took a life crisis for her to realize that she needed to stop making so many health mistakes and start living her best life. Take a look. I came to this country from Czechoslovakia when I was 20. I didn't speak any English. I didn't know anybody. I felt very alienated and, and became very depressed. And I started eating and gained uh, about 25 pounds and became a real American, went on a diet, started counting calories. And I had this feeling that, there was, that something was wrong with me. Part of this feeling of despair came from knowing that I was smart and yet I wasn't taking care of myself. My body and my mind and my soul were never in the same place at the same time. My joints were hurting. I had very, very painful rheumatism, and I had severe chronic headaches. And I kept popping one pain reliever after another. And spiritually, I really didn't have faith. I felt very alone. When I was 38, I met my husband, and a year later became pregnant with my daughter. And seemingly, my life was good. My daughter was only 10 months old, and my husband wanted very much to have another child. After several months of trying to get pregnant, I went to my gynecologist and was told that I had a hormonal imbalance that would make it impossible for me to have another child. I was devastated. It took this crisis of being told that I couldn't have a child to finally tell myself the truth about how I was living my life. And I said, what if I just became as healthy as possible? And amazingly, after I started making adjustments in my diet and my lifestyle, my rheumatism disappeared. After eight months of taking care of myself, I discovered I was pregnant. What everyone told me was impossible was in fact happening. My younger daughter was born when I was 44, and learning how to take care of myself became very useful. I needed to be in good shape to take care of two children. I still have to remind myself every single day to pay attention to what my body is telling me. Learning that I was the creator of change in my life and that the important answers were going to come from within me gave me a renewed sense of hope and a connection with my soul. Julia writes about her journey in her book, Inconceivable. Thank you so much, Julia. We'll be right back. Inconceivable. <laughs>